Welcome to our channel Science Hub, where we make science and computer related videos. Today we will know about the classification of computers which will be based on their size. As we know, the classification of computers which are based on size are classified in four types. Supercomputer, mainframe computer, microcomputer and mini computer. So, according to the size of the computers, first comes supercomputers. Let's check the characteristics of the computer. After hearing the term super, we always think of our superheroes. Suppose Hollywood is making a film about a superhero that will be costly or not. Very costly. So, the supercomputer is like a superhero in the types of computers. Those are also most costly. Our superheroes are always fastest. Like that, supercomputers are also fastest. Then, biggest in size, multiprocessor. If you check these characteristics, multiprocessors connected parallelly. What are multiprocessors which will be connected parallelly? There are lots of processors which are parallelly connected to do a specific task or one task into various divisions. Then, these types of computers are designed to do a special task or specific task. Then, it has very large memory storage and lastly, we can see multi-operator. That means, many users can be connected with these types of computer at once. So, in supercomputer, the frequency unit by which we can measure the speed of a supercomputer is flops. Floating point operations per second. It can be petaflops, metaflops like this. And you can see there is a unit FPU, floating point unit. As we know, there are various types of parameters in computer like integers, characters and float. Integers are like whole numbers, characters A, B, C, D and floatings are decimals. There is a particular section in supercomputer which is FPU, floating point unit, to calculate the decimals. If we want to know something about supercomputer, the first supercomputer in world is Cray 1, which was designed by Cray Research Organization. And India's first supercomputer is Param 8000, which was designed by CDAC, Center for Development of advanced computing. Next, we will know about mainframe computers. These types of computers are specially used to make servers or workstation. What are the servers? Ser a server is a dedicated computer which holds the actual content rather than the client. You can see the char characteristics of these types of computers are written here. All the perspectives, as you can see, are lesser than super, which are big but not as super, fast, costly, but not as supercomputers. Here, these types of computers are also the prospects of multiprocessors connected parallelly. Then, lots of users can interact with these types of computers at once. It has also very large memory. Then, what will be the frequency unit of these types of computers? MIPS, which stands for millions of instructions per second. The first mainframe computer in world was Univac 1 or Univac First, which was developed by IBM, International Business Machine. Next, we will know about microcomputers, which are client computers. Like our personal computers, like desktop, laptop, phablets, tablets, etc. What are the features of microcomputers? Small in size, low cost, easy to use, and low computing power compared to mainframe and supercomputers. And these types of computers are for personal use. The frequency unit of these types of computer is Hertz. 
the first microcomputer in world it was Altair 8800 which was developed by IBM as you know international business machine lastly we will know about mini computers let's look at the features of mini computers size and capacity of this computer are less than the mainframe computers and greater than microcomputers it can do several tasks at one time or at once the first mini computer in the world was pdp first stands for programmed data processor and developed by dec digital equipment corporation if you like this video share among your friends comment below if you have any queries and subscribe to our channel science hub stay tuned for further updates